Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we shall study the Poisson distribution and the hypergeometric distribution. Let us start from the Poisson distribution. The Poisson probability distribution has the same type of applications as that of the binomial distribution. We can use the Poisson distribution at the same place where we can use the binomial distribution. The main difference is that the Poisson distribution gives us an approximate solution of the binomial distribution. The Poisson probability distribution function f of x is equal to mu power x e power minus mu divided by x factorial. Here mu is the mean and it has the same value as that of the binomial distribution, which is equal to NP. E here represents the exponential constant whose value is 2.718. Let us use this distribution to solve a problem. It is known that 5% of the books bound at a certain binary have defective bindings. Find probability that two of the 100 books bound by this binary have defective bindings using the Poisson distribution. Number two, the binomial distribution. Let us use the Poisson distribution here probability of success is given, which is 5% equal to 5 by 100. N is 100, and we need to find probability of X is equal to 2. For the Poisson distribution, we need the value of mu, which is equal to NP, substituting the value of N and P, we get that mu is equal to 5. Now formula for the Poisson distribution function is mu power x e power minus mu divided by x factorial. Let us substitute the value of x which is 2, value of mu which is 5. And now use calculator and solve this. So we get that the solution is 0.084. Now let us use the binomial distribution to solve the same problem. Here the value of P is same, which is 5% equal to 0 0.05, N is 100, and again we need to find probability of X is equal to 2. For the binomial distribution, we need the probability of failure, which is called Q equal to 1 minus P, which if we substitute values, we get 0 0.95. Now look at this formula of the binomial probability distribution function and just substitute the value of N, X, P, and Q, we get this expression. And the next step we need to just simplify this by using calculator and we get that the solution is 0 0.081. Now compare both solutions. One is by the Poisson distribution, that the probability is 0 0.084, and the other is by binomial distribution, that the probability is 0 0.081. So there is a little difference in the solution because the Poisson distribution will give us the approximate value of the binomial distribution. The hypergeometric distribution. We know that we can use the binomial or the Poisson distribution if we have independent events. Now, if we don't have independent events, then we cannot use the binomial distribution or the Poisson distribution. In that case, we use the hypergeometric distribution. 
Another word, if we have sampling without replacement, in that case, we don't have independent events and we cannot use the binomial or Poisson distribution. So we need the hypergeometric distribution. Another thing to use the hypergeometric distribution is that we need information about the population as well as about the sample. Population is a set of all possible information and sample is a subset of the population. In the real world, there are a lot of situations in which we cannot study the whole population. So we take samples from the population, take information from those samples, and then we decide about the whole population. For example, if we want to measure the amount of salt in the water of some river, then it is impossible to take each drop of water from that river, bring it to the laboratory and find the amount of salt. In that case, we take samples from the water of that river. We take 100 samples, 1000 samples or 10,000 samples. From those samples, we get information. For example, if we get that there is 2% salt in samples, then we take decision about the whole population and we say that in the water of that river, there is 2% salt. The hypergeometric probability distribution function f of x is equal to mcx into n minus mc small n minus x divided by mcx. In this formula, we can see there are two combinations in product in the numerator and one combination in the denominator. Here, capital N shows size of the population. All the possible elements in that population, small n shows size of the sample and capital M, that M shows number of success of the population, then X shows number of success of the sample. N minus M shows number of failures of the population and small N minus X shows number of failure of the sample. Now to remember this formula, we can see anything of the population is above and the same thing of sample is given below. For example, look at this one. M is success of the population, then X is success of the sample. N minus M, failure of population, small n minus X, failure of the sample. Capital N, size of the population, small n, size of the sample. Let us use this formula to solve a problem. In a lot of 10 missiles, three are defective. That will not fire. A sample of four missiles is selected at random. What is the probability that exactly two will not fire. At most, two will not fire. Now from here we can see capital N is equal to 10. Size of the population is 10. Then size of the sample is four. Now we are obtaining the probability of those missiles which cannot be fired. So our success is defective missile. So here M is three, there are three defective missiles and to find probability that two will not fire. So X is equal to two here. In other words, we have to find 
probability of x is equal to 2. Here, formula for the hypergeometric probability distribution function is given here. We have all values of m, x, n. Just substitute values in this formula and then simplify them. Now, use calculator. And by calculator, we can find this is 63 divided by 200. Another word probability that exactly two will not fire is 0 0.3. Now let us solve the second part. At most two will not fire. Again, we have the same data, but at most two mean we have to find probability of X less than or equal to two. The values of x are starting from zero. So x is equal to zero, one, two. Now to find probability of x less than or equal to two, this is equal to probability of x is equal to zero plus probability of x is equal to one plus probability of x is equal to two. And we know that the hypergeometric probability distribution function f of x is given by this formula. Now in this formula, let us first of all find f of zero. So x is zero here. Just put x is equal to zero. The remaining values are given here. And we find this thing. Now let us find f of one. f of one mean we have to put x is equal to one. The remaining values are given. Next, let us find f of 2. So x is 2 here now. The remaining values are same. Now, in the next step, we have to simplify this term, then this term, and then this term. Finally, we use calculator. And by calculator, we can obtain that 10 C4 is equal to 210. And if we simplify these two combinations, we get 35. Then we simplify the next one, which is 105 divided by 210. And the last one is 63 divided by 210. If we simplify, we get that the solution is 0 0.97. If someone has problem to find this combination, please watch the previous lecture where we have discussed combination and permutation and you will get the idea from that video. That's all.